Well, welcome Rosebank Union Church to Church Online. So here we are again in our studio. If you missed the pre-service lobby, we were just talking about how here we are back in the studio doing a live stream broadcast on a Sunday morning of our Sunday services. And of course, we're really missing being in person, gathering with people in the auditorium, but looking forward to being able to do that uh, on Christmas Day. So speaking of which, there have been some changes that we've had to make to our services over December and January, uh, considering the latest announcement from the president and the restrictions on gatherings um, going forward. So here are the announcements for everything that's happening for our services through December and January. So firstly, we are going to be continuing with our Christmas Day in-person services. So note though, there has been one change. The early Christmas Day service has been changed from 8 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. And that is because we have to allow for one hour between services according to government regulations. So if you've booked for the 8 o'clock Christmas service and you cannot make it at 7.30 for whatever reason, please do cancel that booking so that other people can join the service at 8 a.m. Uh, at 7.30 a.m. The second Christmas Day service stays at 9.30. So 7.30 and a 9.30 Christmas Day service. Service. As far as I know, I think those services are fully booked because the limit is now 100 people after the president's announcement, uh, which is really devastating for us. And I know for some of you have tried to book for Christmas Day and it's already fully booked. And believe me, we would love to have this place packed on Christmas Day, but we just can't do that. But we do have a very special online service planned for Christmas Day. So we are going to be unveiling Church at Home 5.0. So if you followed with our church through the pandemic, we've had various versions of this Church at Home experience, the latest version coming to you Christmas Day. So we're calling it a hybrid service. And what it will involve is some of some pre-recorded elements like worship, but we will also have some live interactions like this. So the pre-service lobby with Brett and Candice that we've come to love on Christmas Day. And then we will switch to the auditorium for a live Christmas sermon. So the sermon that I'll be doing to the gathered congregation, you will see that happening from the auditorium live. We haven't done that before. So that's brand new. And we really just want to try and make it that you feel like you're as much here as you can be sitting at home. So with that, we'll also be live streaming both services on Christmas Day. So you can pick, hey, I want to join the 7.30 Christmas service and you gather your family or wherever you've invited to your house for the Christmas service at 7.30 for the live streamed service or at 9.30 for the live streamed service. And I want to encourage you to think about doing that. Perhaps be strategic this Christmas Day. You can't come to church. You would love to. Think about who you could invite to your house, maybe for the early service. You can gather and celebrate and then carry on with your Christmas Day planning. So be sure to plan your Christmas day, 7.30 or 9.30. If you manage to get a seat in person, that's great. But if not, plan your Christmas day around those two live stream broadcasts. We really are looking forward to a special time together, even in this format. So that's all about Christmas day. The Sundays around Christmas, we'll be doing this. We'll be doing online services only, right up until the new year. So we, we're hoping to be back in person on Sunday, the 17th of January. That's supposed to be our vision Sunday. We'd love to be back by then, but of course we're gonna have to monitor the situation. We've all learned to hold our plans very lightly. Uh, but for now, that means you can join us online uh, every Sunday from now on, right up until the 17th of January. 